Ada ingat ke tak? Saya ada, saya ada. Should I call her? Hello? Hello Aida Kau ingat tak hari kita ada SNM? Ui, ya ke? Ya, dia lupa lima tau Aku sempat lupa Eh, sempat lagi ni, jom cepat siapkan Ui, thanks dia orang ingat kan? Aku serius lupa Hai Simon banyak sangat Aku baru je settle satu Dah dapat lagi satu <tuh> Tapi Mesti aku dah menyusahkan dia orang nak submit kan Mesti dia orang benci aku Macam mana ni Aku bukannya sengaja Hmm Okay dah cukup bersedih Aku kena buat sekarang juga Dia pukul 5 weh Eh, apa salah aku tak boleh bangun ni? Wui, bangunlah. Kau kena buat assignment. Urgent ni. Bangunlah wui. Tolonglah bangun. Benindah ju. Jangan menyusahkan orang lagi. Siapa pula ni? Eh, sikit Molly. Tak habis habis lah kau laku. Dah lah. Huh. Molly je aku bangun. Baik aku siapkan saya untuk sekarang juga. Yes, siap pun. Eh, lapa lah pula. Kenapa aku lapa eh? Lah, aku tak makan lagi rupanya. Pergi cari makan lah. Eh, dah tu lah. Eh, dah siapkan dari pun. Bagaimana dia kami? Mesin je lah Aku ni kan dah lah pelupa Careless pula tu Lepas tu pelupa sampai menyusahkan orang Nak bangun dari katil pun susah Dah sampai malas Kenapa aku macam ni eh Hmm Attention Deficit Hyperactive Disorder ADHD is the most common neurodevelopmental disorder of childhood. It is usually first diagnosed in childhood and often lasts into adulthood. People with ADHD usually have trouble with impulse control, focusing, and organization. There are few types of ADHD. The first one is predominantly in attentive presentation. It is hard for the individual to organize or finish a task, to pay attention to details, or to follow instructions or conversations. The second one is predominantly hyperactive impulsive presentation. The person fidgets and talks a lot. It is hard to sit still for a long period of time. And the last one is the combined presentation. Some people with ADHD have fewer symptoms as they age, but some adults continue to have major symptoms that interfere with daily functioning. In adults, the main features of ADHD may include the executive dysfunction, forgetfulness and distracted, rejection sensitivity, hyperfocus or lack of focus, time blindness, continually starting new tasks before finishing the old ones, cannot stay still, and lastly is carelessness. To be diagnosed with ADHD, the person must show six or more symptoms of hyperactivity continuously for at least six months in at least two different settings. They will also consider a report from other significant people and have a series of interviews with the persons and the parents. 
Causes of ADHD is unknown, but it can be from genetics, brain injury, exposure to environmental risk during pregnancy or at young age, alcohol and tobacco use during pregnancy, premature delivery, and also low birth weight. ADHD is a disorder that cannot be cured, but the symptom of ADHD can be controlled with medication and various types of psychotherapy. For example, parent training in behavior management, and then the second one is behavior therapy with children. Lastly, behavioral intervention in the classroom. Statistically, the prevalence of adult ADHD was 15.8%. The persistent rate was 63%, while in Malaysia, the prevalence rate of ADHD was 3.9%, with the population is higher in boys than girls. Based on the causes mentioned before, we can assume that there will be increasing in amount as years goes by. We hope that this video helps give a bit of exposure to ADHD and eliminate negative stigma and stereotypes against people who have ADHD. In conclusion, throughout our research, we managed to understand ADHD better than be more aware on how ADHD impacts a person.